All right, let's go inside out now on NVIDIA and the rest of the semiconductor space. Joining us now, very pleased to say, is Matthew Bryson, who is the Senior Vice President Equity Research at Wedbush Security. So nice to see you, Matt. Thanks for your time. So the NVIDIA and Intel partnership, Uncle Sam, Uncle Jensen, what are your takeaways from this? Um, I, I mean, it's 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 good for Intel. It's good for NVIDIA. Having said that, uh, ramifications are, are really longer term in terms of real revenue. Uh, so chip design cycles are multiple years typically. So best case scenario in terms of new products and any revenue from this, probably a couple of years out. Um, if you want to be a little bit of a conspiracy theorist, uh, China certainly has acted ahead of negotiations with the U.S. Uh, to try to create some some bargaining points. Um, perhaps NVIDIA is doing something the same where by partnering with Intel, by supporting the U.S. investment, uh, they're getting the U.S. to uh, put, a, put a bit more emphasis on creating a better environment in China. Obviously, if NVIDIA is able to sell into China, there's substantial revenue there that they're not seeing right now. Well, that's right. But they also did guide uh, excluding China, which was certainly interesting. I'm just wondering, you know, how much of a risk China poses right now to NVIDIA? I mean, if it completely shuts the door, uh, what happens to these H20 chips and then the other ones that are down the pike? Because there had been some suggestion in that previous earnings report that they'd actually found another customer. But is that sustainable? So I, I think right now no one has any China numbers uh, or, or China revenues in their number. So base case assumption is NVIDIA doesn't ship into China. So if they see incremental revenues, um, at least for sell side forecasts, um, that's 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 all gravy. OK, and uh, I mean, I'm just wondering, as far as this deal that we've seen with Intel, um, we saw the clear sort of winners and losers as far as what the market thinks uh, across the sort of semiconductor space uh, in that uh, AMD was down, uh, no doubt because of, you know, how this positions NVIDIA sort of domestically. I'm just wondering when you look across the semiconductor space, um, what it means for some of these other names with a tie up like with Intel. Yeah, so I, I mean, they, they, both Intel and NVIDIA got a lot of questions around, you know, is this is this more far reaching than a product uh, tie up on PCs and servers? Um, and they tend to respond no. So uh, I don't think at this point that Intel's proven out there their manufacturing process. So I, I don't see NVIDIA, for instance, uh, moving manufacturing to, to Intel anytime soon. Um, I think even with AMD and ARM, um, and NVIDIA this suggests that certainly that there's no shift in their ARM strategy, and, and my checks have suggested that uh, they're they're certainly looking to lift uh, their their ARM based sales next year. Um, I, I don't I don't see much changing there in, in terms of AMD. Uh, could this make more competitive Intel versus AMD two three years out, particularly in the PC space? Um, I, I mean, it, it certainly could. Um, I think for NVIDIA, uh, this gives them uh, a foothold in AI PCs beyond uh, the, the gaming sector. So it's clearly a good thing for them. But I think with all these companies uh, over the next, uh, let's call it uh, six to 18 months, the story is going to remain the, the strength in AI demand. Um, over the last month in particular, it seems like forecasts for all components are going up in part to support larger AI builds, um, and that benefits uh, NVIDIA, of course, but it also benefits Intel, it benefits uh, AMD, it benefits most of the semi supply chain complex. Which probably speaks to the reaction we saw in the markets yesterday, because it's usually the investor that is typically lower on a day like that. But no doubt uh, the market sees value in this and it very much uh, aligns NVIDIA with U.S. policy here. So that's obviously something uh, that many are cheering as well. Matt, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Matthew Bryson, Wedbush Securities. Appreciate your time. Uh, let's trade it now with George Tillis, a senior markets correspondent. What's your example trade for NVIDIA? George, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Sam. Well, if you look at the chart and our price action on NVIDIA, using the weekly uh, time frames to smooth out some of the volatility on the daily charts, um, going back to early September, the stock reclaimed the 10-week moving average after its late August earnings where it fell below that uh, 
that's a that's a rolling moving average. So I'm going to use that as a proxy or a benchmark of support to structure a bullish trade on the stock. So we're now moving to the second week above the 10 week moving average. So with the price action very positive and still moving slightly higher over time, uh, I'm going to go out to November with about 63 days to expiration and structural bull call vertical, purchasing the 175 call option, which is in the money, and then simultaneously selling the 185 call against that position. Now, altogether, you would pay about $4.75 a share or $475 a contract for this trade. Uh, the whole premise behind it, it's bullish. Uh, the stock would have to, if you hold up to expiration is 63 days at the very least hit the 179 75 for break even then your max profit is five and a quarter per share and that'll be achieved if the stock hits 185 or higher by expiration like i said in 63 days your risk your risk is 475 return 525 so it's nearly one to one return on risk on this position Okay, and NVIDIA shares are higher today by about half of 1%. But as we say, even given the headlines that we've seen this week, I mean, net, net, little changed, even with some of the China risk associated with that. George, thank you so much for getting us across your example trader on this name.